We don't need to wear our scrubs or anything. We'll probably do that Wednesday. So they said business casual, regular, all of that. If y'all can see. I went and got those pants from Target literally last night, 15 minutes before they closed. I had no dress pants. The dress pants that I did have, I threw away just because they were done with. So I really need to stack up on my business casual outside of clothing anyways, but that's gonna be fun at the time. If y'all know me personally, I don't really do makeup. I'm not a big like full face type of girl. And the only thing I learned to do was my natural beat. And that's the only thing that I want to do, but I'm not doing natural be just because I like how my face is all clear right now looking shiny and glowy I do like to go in every once in a while with some blush and highlight to intensify that glow so these are the only two items that I'll be using I'm not a makeup person and there's no specific reason why I grabbed this suit I only grabbed this suit because I was somewhere and I think it was on clearance yeah so it was like four dollars probably so I just grabbed it I'm like this is how it looks. It comes with three colors. I always use this and a bit of this, but I mainly use this. I don't really do all the like what type of brush. Whatever puts it on nice, okay? Yeah, I just use this same brush for blush and the highlight. Ready for a miracle out. Chill until the sun sets. Ready for the magic hour. This definitely does it. It's nothing too much, just a little glimmer. So yesterday I had a full thing of nails on. I was up at 12 o'clock in the morning, biting the mess out of these nails, clipping them, trying to get them off because I totally forgot that I needed to go to a nail appointment yesterday to get them removed. Yeah, too late for that. So time to, you know, do what I have to do. If I rip the nail, oh well, cause I don't got time for them to be telling me anything. One thing I am skeptical about is my eyelashes i really hope they don't say nothing about eyelashes because you're pushing it you're pushing it yeah i'm a lash girl like i'm a lash tech 
like, so, babe, I need my lashes. You're trying to restrict me of wearing lashes. It's crazy. So I don't want to hear it. I'm going to go in there with my lashes and my short bob. And I'm going to eat. Okay? But anyways, y'all, before I like to put on this lip gloss, I just put on any type of clear lip gloss, y'all. It don't really matter the brand. I do want to get one that's probably less sticky, so I will say that's the only downfall. But I like to put on Aquaphor because it definitely heals the lips and restricts any cracks from happening. So I'm going to go get that, and I'll be right back. So I did a little pickup. I never used this. I used always the, like, squeeze bottle. But I really love this. I just like it. It's like an easy grab. I ain't got to do too much squeezing. Oh, y'all, that lip gloss gonna pop, okay? It's gonna pop. I've always been like that since I was little. Lip gloss stay pop. Okay? I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Right now, I don't feel any nerves, but I know soon as I pull up in that parking lot, it's over with. It's over with. Heart gonna be racing, but it's gonna be like joy and like, people say overwhelmed. Like, it's just gonna be so much happening a new big milestone is happening in my life i'm excited i don't really want to think too negative about what's going on because that's not going to bring anything but more negativity and you want to go in with an open mind positive mind just know that you can do it and you know do the best it is almost seven o'clock you guys it is 6 50. i think we have to be there by eight o'clock i was thinking about making my lunch but I really don't feel like it. Also, because today is the first day, y'all not gonna be seeing me bring a book bag and blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna get my tote bag and something that can be easily carried just in case we gotta walk around because I do believe we have to tour. I do plan on wearing some heels today, either my white heels or my black heels since I am wearing all black. The black heels are wrap up and I never really walked in them. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I was a dress with tennis shoes type of girl, y'all. Saying. but let me get off here because i know y'all are probably trying to be checking right now we're gonna go pack our bag and make sure everything else is clean i didn't put on any perfume just because i wanted to be fresh when i actually walk out the door so we're gonna do all of that then we'll be at the nursing building i swear i tried to This is my pinnacle group. 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it started. I thought this was a lady, y'all. Mm. It's actually 12 13. We're on break. We gotta be back by 1. And then I think we're done by 2 or 2 30. I decided to eat my beef curry with spicy meal sauce. I usually eat it with Tabasco sauce, but I forgot it at home, y'all. Okay. Y'all, I'm low-key exhausted. We ain't really been doing nothing, but we've been doing stuff. Just taking in a lot of information. I'm not tired, but I'm tired. Like, I'm not tired right now, but when they be talking, I just, I just get bored very easily. Like, I'm an active person. I like to move around. I like to do things. So, when I'm sitting too long, I get extremely tired and I will doze off. And I don't like that. Like, I wish I could change it, but if I'm not doing anything, I will lose focus like i have a short attention span i really do especially when i'm not moving around with this got rice if you in mizzou and you're watching go and get you some beef curry a1 i am about to enjoy my little 45 minutes that i have but more than likely i'm going to leave at 12 45 and y'all i'm taking these heels off like i'm going to walk barefoot i don't care I don't care. I walked barefoot halfway here just because my feet are hurting. And I'm probably gonna do a little bit of studying today and looking over the agenda for the week just because we have something due Friday already. And we basically have class Monday through Friday every week. So it's time to get the ball rolling for real. So I'm about to eat and watch TV and I will talk to you guys once I'm back. 
fingers. Well, this is the little study room that I am in. This um, study room is in my residence, so this is where I'll be studying for right now. We have to be at the school at 7 o'clock a.m. I'm more than likely going to wake up at 5 o'clock again. That's probably going to be my regular time. I'm going to make that a normal schedule just so I'll have that hour to get ready, do whatever I need to do, eat. Oh, also, I want to show you our bag. This is what they gave us. Well, they didn't give us anything. We had to buy this for like $90. But basically we take this bag to lab and it has all our sensors in here that we'll be using throughout the semester. So, yay. class by eight o'clock it's the second day and we get to wear our scrubs today so i wanted to make some tiktoks all i gotta do is pack my bags and get my breakfast and make my lunch and i'm just making a sandwich for lunch i'm not doing the most with it so yeah i'm really excited for today because we are doing like actual work but we're doing lab i'm not a lecture type of person i'm a lab person um, i'm a visual learner so i really want to see how this plays out but it is orientation into the class so we might not do as much but yet again this is the accelerated part of my jumpstart program so you know they have to get a move on with everything i don't know if i'm gonna get too much of the recording just because we're really starting today like we got our scrubs on we got to bring a notebook we got to bring our clinical bag all of that just so we can be prepared and you know focus in but i'm really excited i'm not gonna talk on here too long because it is 7 37 and i need to go pack my bag so let's go pack our nursing book bag Hey y'all, so apparently I don't have my little stand for my camera. I'm sitting it on my cup right now. It's 10.05. Um, basically, we don't have to be back until 1 because the second group is going right now. They didn't have to be here until 10 and we have to be here at 8. I'm an early bird person anyway, so being here at 8 and then like getting done at 10 o'clock and not having to be back until 1 o'clock. It's perfect for me, but this isn't the regular schedule, you guys. No, this is just the first week schedule. It's kind of all over the place. I'm so confused a little bit just because I don't know exactly what we're doing, but I'm just really going with the flow. So I'm really caught up right now. It's just, I don't know my next steps. I just know I gotta be in the classroom. I don't know what class it's for. It might be fundamentals or it might be health assessment, even though we just did health assessment, but I don't know if that's the lecture portion. We just did lab. I didn't get to record in there just because they were talking and we were all kind of like real close face to face and stuff. So I didn't want to be like rude and just be pulling out a camera and all of that. But today is actually going pretty well. Met um, a cool group of people. I met another girl who looks like me. I'm mad I didn't get to get her on camera. Um, but we'll see her back at one. We have an interview assessment due, you guys. And we have to like ask these questions to a patient, a friend, or anything. I'm gonna write down everything that I need to ask so I can like get it memorized. And then we also did the lab portion where we actually get the physical movements. So I kind of want to practice that. Yesterday, I left off with me writing down notes. I actually started pretty early on that class just because I thought I was supposed to be doing fundamentals today and it was like crisscross. Here's the notes, they look so pretty you guys. Like, ah, I'm a nursing girly for real. Like, stop playing. 
so right now like i said it's 10 8 we don't have to be back until 1 so i want to kind of get this little portion done by 11 o'clock and then i'm going to leave because i forgot to pack my lunch like i told you guys i was supposed to pack my lunch and i forgot to do it so i'm gonna just go home and eat I ain't trying to spend no more money, y'all. I'm finna just go home and eat what I got and make me a protein shake and then get back here. My oh, bad, y'all. My camera had died. But like I was saying, I am about to start doing this work. I want to show y'all kind of where I'm at. This is a little new area they have right outside of the nursing building. It's so pretty, so cute, and relaxing. Like, y'all, it's so, it's cut off. So it's like our own little space, and I love this. I'm in the shaded area because they need to get like some umbrellas, but it gotta match the vibe, you know? It really can't just be anything. And I really need to go find my little stand because I can't be just sitting this on my cup. Yeah, I'm about to get started. So I'll talk to you guys once I'm about to head home and pack my lunch, cause I am starving right now and I'm wasting time. So it's actually 7.12 right now. Class ended at 5 o'clock. I decided to just stay here so I can get a bit of studying after class just because we went over some material in class and I kind of wanted to read up on the chapters. I advise people, like, if you're a nursing major and you're in pre-nursing right now, try to start critical thinking if you can to just get that implemented in your brain. Just because once you get into nursing school, it's kind of hard trying to start it when you already kind of need to be doing I was just told that there's a microwave and refrigerator upstairs, y'all. So, y'all already know what the drill is. Your girl is going to be upstairs putting all her food in there. I don't care because I be snacking and we be here for hours. So, I definitely need to go ahead and put all of that up there. I mean, like, I'm not going to go shopping or nothing. But, like, hot lunches and all of that because I usually just go home and eat because the microwave i didn't know they had a microwave i know that they had, i knew they had a refrigerator but i didn't know they had a microwave so yeah i kind of want to show you a little bit of the nursing building before i leave and then we're going to end this vlog out so you guys this is kind of the main area when you first walk in you walk in through those doors and then it kind of goes around over here um once you come over here got the bathrooms um, you got more study areas. We'll get down there. I think I don't know if any of the rooms are open, so can't probably show y'all, but I can tell y'all. So they have some rooms over there. Never been in there. This is the main room that we be in. Um, they have some vending machines. They gonna make sure your nursing students, you know, eating very hydrated. Okay. The school of medicine is right there. It's actually connected to this building. So yeah. Um, but this is the whole classroom. Like, the classroom is really big. I don't know if y'all can even see in here. But that's the classroom, you guys. Walking in the looks. Y'all, these shoes, before I go down there, are so comfortable. Um, these are my nursing clinical shoes, but I feel like I'm just going to wear these whenever I have to wear my scrubs. So why not? In, like, lab. Down here is where all the simulation rooms are and everything, where the lab room, and they have mannequins and stuff. Can't really see in there. Yeah, y'all just see my reflection, but just other rooms down there, simulation clinical skill room, as y'all can see. 
And then I believe that's another, oh wait, this whole thing right here, it's a clinical room and it can be divided within three with like, you know, divider walls and stuff. So earlier I was out there, I showed you guys this already. But I was outside, this is actually very new. I was told this was just a wall at first, but it's so beautiful. That's a great little study spot, it's outside. I just love the scenery right there. It's just very nice. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, why you with mad? So this is the elevator. Very spacious, you guys. It's a lot of room, so nobody should be on Mars back. Y'all, I was downstairs at that little bitty table, and it's so nice up here. They have so much space. And then you have the kitchen area over here. They don't have one microwave. They have three. Stop playing with that. We got a refrigerator. We got two refrigerators, actually. Oh, I lied. They got six microwaves, okay. They got one, two, three, four, five, six. Even though they don't pay for anything for this whole little nursing journey, they just give you your acceptance letter and say, okay, now you do the rest. They gonna make sure you got a place to eat and you know, study and get through their program, okay? I really like this. So I know where I'll be tomorrow. And if y'all know me, I cannot study in one place for too long. So honestly, I could sit in that chair that I was downstairs for like another week and I'll be cool. But after that week up, I gotta go. I, I gotta move around. I just feel like once I'm in one place too long, I'm learning the information that I need to learn and it just, I get too comfortable. It feels like my bed. I know it's not my bed, but it feels like, you know how your bed feels and you can't sit in your bed. That's how it feels for me, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to end off my video in here just because the sun looks beautiful. I mean, I'm in my environment where this vlog is supposed to be at. I mean, it's a nursing vlog. Um, I can't wait to take you guys on this journey with me. I'm gonna see the ups and the downs. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Like, I'm not playing any games. As y'all can see, I've already jumped on the ball, rolling with certain things. I just really wanna be ahead because this is my life. Like, next year I graduate fall 2024, so I can't play any games. It's very easy to get distracted, it's very easy to fail, it's very easy to get pushed back. And I kinda don't wanna go through any of those things, not saying that it's not okay. But that's not my goal. My goal is to get done when I intentionally want to get done. I'm like, that's what I came here for and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to succeed in the best way. Period. Yeah. Your girl is really in nursing school, y'all. Oh my God. Like, I just feel so like... Let me go find a word real quick. Oh, official. I feel real official. Your girl got her badge. Period. She got her bag. Really, just waiting until my friend Marette comes. She's starting OT school. Who you know, like, my freaking friend is in OT school. I'm in nursing school. Like, God, man, just wait. Just wait. Like, we finna have a ball. We're gonna be stressed the hell out from school. But we, we really finna do this. Like, and I got so much planned for next year as well. Oh my God. Life is really happening right now, and I'm only 20. I'm about to be 21. Big break up. So, yeah. But I do want to end this vlog out right now because y'all know I can sit and talk for hours, and y'all ain't going to watch me sit and talk. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see within nursing vlogs, too, because it's really about to start up. It's really just my visual diary, like I keep saying. Like, this is for me to make memories and just show it on youtube to be honest and so i can go back and look at stuff and just record my progress as i keep growing even though i just started in november i can see my first video to this video and i see a huge difference like so much has changed really i'm just really excited right now i'm really happy i'm just overwhelmed with joy and i'm just gonna keep a positive mind throughout this whole program you guys like that's all you really can do 
you definitely gonna get pressed negative that's just not my personality and that's not me so i'm not gonna let it get to me you guys anyways make sure y'all like comment and subscribe stay tuned for more videos ah i really can't wait but like y'all you know this is chanel is out new nursing student <laughs>